Hey guys, it's Nathan at CFS Studios giving you the rundown of trending topics on everyone's mind. Listen to that purr. What is that? It's not a hybrid. It's not internal combustion. I feel like I've had this sound in my ears before. Believe it or not, the sound that you heard is actually the sound of an electric muscle car. A BEV to be specific. And not just any BEV, mind you. This is the recently unveiled Dodge Charger Daytona SRT. After being teased for several years now, we finally see the direction that Dodge intends to take the Brotherhood of Muscle. 2024 will mark the end of production for gas-powered Challenger and Charger models, as well as a transition to the fully electric muscle car based on this concept. I need a moment. In a commitment to pushing the envelope while also retaining the essence of a muscle car, Dodge offers this vehicle which contains three patent pending technologies, one you see, one you hear, and one you feel. When you first make your way around the car, you will undoubtedly notice what Dodge calls the R-Wing. This wing is mounted on the front of the vehicle which results in an increase in downforce and aerodynamic performance. Visually, the R-Wing reestablishes the Charger's characteristic front end. When you start the car, you're rewarded with a familiar, albeit unexpected, exhaust note from an EV. The Fratzonic chambered exhaust is sure to twist heads in more ways than one. Now, to satisfy a need I certainly understand, Dodge is making noise indeed. So is social media. This exhaust system is akin to a base reflex speaker strapped to an 800 volt propulsion system, spitting out 126 dB of battery noise. Actually, it's a synthetic sound that's modeled on the cadence of a traditional Hemi V8 that's fed into an amplifier which is ported into a tune chamber and you get the picture. The exhaust notes this system produces, not great. So imagine yourself driving down the road. This is where you're introduced to the third feature, the erupt transmission. Now there's not a lot of technical information, but the gist is this system replicates the stuff that pins your shoulders to the back of the seat. They've also added a power shot button to the steering wheel, which kicks things up a little bit. So we know what CEO Tim Kaniskas thinks. Badass, badass. I know what I think. What do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to catch all the content and join our membership program as a favor to yourself and your lineage. Thanks for watching.